Okay, it's Friday. Um, I only went to two sales today. I could have went to more, um, but I'm happy with what I got today because I got a lot of games. Uh, I got a Super Nintendo lot and some other stuff. But don't let me fool you. I didn't just stumble across this lot of Super Nintendo games. I, uh, someone I know called me and they said I got a bunch of Super Nintendo games and uh, they offered me them. And basically I priced them out at about two fifty, and including the PS2 stuff. And um, so I offered them one hundred twenty-five. I think it's between two fifty and two seventy is what I'll get. I mean, it's probably a little bit more online. Uh, PS2 looks pretty good. I have a friend who wants a PS2 for his dad. So uh, that's going to you. And it looks like I got the wires. So again, um, what really made this deal good for me was uh, the person I bought it from owed me a hundred bucks. So I got a, uh, because we did a trade, he likes jewelry. And I had this really sweet, uh, heavy Indian sterling buckle that I would have put online for a couple of hundred. So I gave it to him uh, for a hundred in credit. All right, let's, uh, there was also, you know, he just grabbed the stuff and put it together. So there was like a, a nunchuck to, this is stuff I didn't really know, but he was like, here, just take this. And uh, a nunchuck, and then, uh, what do you call that? The, uh, what is this? The Wiimote and the nunchuck. Okay. I'm kind of sick today. I have allergies. No, I didn't really know about this. I didn't actually even look at this stuff. He said 125 is fine, so I was like, good. So this this probably doesn't work. Uh, let me just... Okay, it's, it's not a really clean one. Let's see if it rattles. Okay, that sounds like the controllers and stuff. It does have the original power supply. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, a little beat up. Not too bad. Okay, so this has a yellow bottom and a nice clean top. You get them like that sometimes. And then uh, I'm going to have to add the AB. Uh, then it has one controller which looks okay, but it's very dirty. It has the one controller with the pulled wires, and it has one of these, these aftermarket controllers. I don't even know how to use these things. They have like so many, like B, A, R, Y, X, L, t slow motion, one, two, three. I don't know. I've never used any of that stuff. I don't know what this is. So anyway, it worked out for me. I actually only wound up spending, well, giving the guy 25 in cash uh, for all the stuff, uh, for all the game stuff. All right, and then uh, there's a bunch of games. So I'm sure this Super Nintendo work. Oh, also, if you have interest in this stuff, the people I know who watch my videos, you gotta let me know because there's there's no guarantee I'm gonna even test this or take this out until whenever. I've got plenty of other stuff to take out. You know, uh, I don't really need. I've been doing game shows, so taking the Super Nintendos out and people trying to get them for 35 bucks, I just can't do it. You know what I mean? But whatever. If there's something that I pull out of those games there that you really want. Let me know and I'll, I'll work with you, trade or cash. Um, let me just show you some disc sets or some CDs. Uh, Lord of the Ring DVDs, DVD, Twilight, and a play. Oh, and uh, I found these with the CDs. Just a Frogger, just the manual and the disc, and a Team Rocket Rescue. I feel like a bucket. To be honest, I didn't even look at the back of the disc on that. All right, uh, this is not. Uh, a holder for games but uh, here we go there's some good games in here I, I will tell you that hmm. alright just a manual alright let's go uh, they're in random order I don't know uh, what's going to be what okay a paper boy the label looks kind of like uh, yeah it's kind of like dingy I don't know if that will clean up <coughs> but paper boy is a good game it's probably like it's then there's some BS games, uh, Caesar's Palace. Thing in the sun. Ugh, that's okay. There. All right, let me just go through them here. The Fishing Master. Then when I priced these, there were definitely some good games, and then there were some BS games. PGA uh, Tour Golf. Uh, apparently, for some reason, I went straight to the BS games. Oh, no, here's a good one. Super Mario RPG, Eleven of the, uh, Legend of the Seven Stars. This is the most valuable game that's going to be in this lot. Um, that's why when I, 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 uh, he gave me the stuff, I had everything, I figured it was 250 to 270, and, uh, 
I was just lucky to save the money. And the thing, the belt buckle that we got, we paid 50 for that with three other belt buckles. So in essence, this system cost me, at, at the very least, 25 in cash and then very little. Uh, turtles in time. I didn't know which Turtles game this is. I think this is the more expensive one because there's two Turtles games. One is like a $20 one and one's a $40 game. I think this is the $40 game, which is a bonus for me because they didn't send me pictures. They just wrote Turtles. So I was like, well, I don't think there's any other Super Nintendo games in it called Turtles. But got a Donkey Kong Country. If the battery's good on this, that'd be great. Super Pinball, probably not a very valuable game. Uh, Super Mario World, I don't know now, solid 20 bucks. The Magical Quest, starring Mickey Mouse. I think I got this game wrong. I allowed more for this game because I thought it was a different Magical Quest. Um, not not the Mickey Mouse one. So this is probably less than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Pitfall. Most of the games are in good condition. You know, some of the labels are a little dingy. What's this? Chester Cheetah. Uh, this is not a game of any value. I, I think I already showed the most valuable games. Super Star Wars, maybe 10 little label where I'm debating uh, Super Mario All-Stars this is a pretty good game this is probably like 25 to 30 now again I get these games so sporadically that I lose track of the values the values go up the values go down so um, super black bass pew, pew, pew. Arkanoid dough it again dough like the Homer uh, Jurassic Park X-Men Mutant Apocalypse look how neatly I arranged uh, Super Battle Tank which I believe is a game that cannot be played um, I don't know I'm, I get mixed up with this that I think you can play this one without the gun but I, th I don't think it's a game and I got this neat CD rack who cares all right, um, at the same sale, that's why I only went to two sales, because I knew I was getting this. I knew I was going to be spending at least a couple of a hundred, except I had the credit, so, you know, I still had more money, but uh, let me go through the records I got. All right, I think I'm going to start buying records more. They're, like, jumping in value by a lot. So here, David Bowie, and that one's got the plastic on it. Red Bone, Potlatch, I am not familiar with this particular artist but uh, he looks like a Native American Indian artist um, the records were kind of clean but they were only a dollar a piece so <coughs> I just went by titles and I didn't even pick I didn't even spend a lot of time uh, yes tornado that's funny okay um, Beach Boy Spirit of America oh it's got like a Superman looking dude on the back this is 70 psychedelic stuff Oh, that looks like, uh, he used to do American, oh, God, everybody knows who this is, so I don't have to say it, but uh, he died recently, he used to do the uh, the New Year's Eve ball every year, The Doors, Greatest Hits, and like I said, I looked at a couple of the records, and they were pretty neat, so, Jethro Tull, Aqualung, got a KL on there, okay, I don't feel great today. Uh, changes to Bowie. Recently passed away at the age of 69. Here's a Grateful Dead in the dark that's under the plastic. Which means its surface is pretty good. Uh, here's uh, Dean Martin. I might just give this to a kid I know. I doubt it has much value, but um, there's someone I know who likes Dean Martin. Grease. The cover looked good. I know it's a dollar, so I was like, ooh, Playboy's Dirty Jokes. Hmm. There are a lot of Playboy magazines in there, probably at the house sale. Of course, nobody buys Playboy, so. Uh, traffic. <coughs> traffic is like a 70s group. I don't remember what their big hit was right now. Uh, I don't see it. Whatever. Uh, Jefferson Starship, Red Octopus. Uh, 
I never heard of this Gentle Giant. I have no clue. But it's... I don't think it's a double album. Let's see. Yeah, it's a double I album. So, who knows? That for a dollar, I'm like, hey, roll a dice. Uh, Mont the Hoople. Uh, whoa, carry the news. Uh, hey, all the young dudes. My uh, singing voice isn't that great, especially when I have a cold. Oh, all the young dudes, carry the news. All the young dudes. That was their song. Police. The World of Duke Ellington. I thought one of these was actually sealed. And this one is sealed with a loss of plastic. So I took it, took a chance on it. People like jazz records, so, I mean, it's never been out of the sleeve, so, Chicago, everybody knows Chicago, alright, and like I said, <coughs> I didn't even examine the uh, records, I, you know, I, I figured, uh, the history of er Eric Clapton, I figured I'll start buying records, you know, they're really popular and expensive, and I took, I bought some last week, I think I showed them, and... Good Rats, Rat City in Blue. I never heard of these guys. But it's under the plastic, it's not sealed. Oh, and then I got for the kid I just said liked Dean Martin, he used to work for me. A Treasury of Dean Martin. He likes records, I don't know if he's still into them, I might just give them to him. All right, uh, for a friend, I got a Complete Tales of Poems, Winnie the Pooh. I, this is a gift to a friend who just had a baby. And she didn't have the baby. Uh, her daughter had the baby. <laughs> okay. Alright, at the same sale, I got some jewelry. And then I got these toys at a different sale. And then I got this miscellaneous stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and edit the tapes together. The videos. Okay, uh, this is part of a lot I just got. Uh, you're going to see in the video right before this. That's part of this. Um, bought this. allowed $15 for it in the lot that I, I had bought. Um, because they're a hard sell. Uh, normally I sell them for 35 with games and, and memory cards and stuff like that. Uh, but I was buying it from a friend, so I allowed 15 bucks. Uh, did not work. So, that happens to me a lot. And uh, just another example today, uh, buying stuff that doesn't work. Anyway, uh, I had told my friend, uh, you know who you are, that I was going to get you a PS2 for your dad. And I said I was getting this, uh, getting one today. Uh, this one doesn't work, but don't worry. I have another one, and uh, I've tested it already, I know it works, and I'll be bringing it to you on Sunday um, for your dad. Okay, this is some more of the stuff that I got at that uh, estate sale. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. The jewelry. My wife spent 60 on the jewelry, and I think we spent 5 on these two things, but I'm not sure. Alright. Uh, this says Camrose and Cross. I have no clue what this is. If that's a good designer or not, but it's a very pretty piece. Um, this looks like jade and silver. There. It's like a half in the light, half out. Confusing the camera. And there's my shadow. Okay, that looks like jade and silver beads. All right, and that came in this bag. Um, this is a, a, a bone necklace. This stuff can be fragile. Uh, here's a crystal necklace. Most of the stuff we will not sell for too much money. And these are mosaic, micro mosaic earrings. A set of these. These are made in Italy. Probably in the 50s. Or like uh, here's a bolo. I, like I said, my wife paid 60 for everything. Roughly... Roughly... I think she got like 20 pieces. Excuse me. Roughly 20 pieces, so, you know, some she paid less for, some she paid more for, but roughly $3 a piece. Some of it's bargains. This is a black uh, native bead. Some of the beads look a little thin on some parts, but there's a lot of intricate work there. I don't know if it's missing any or whatever. This, my wife thought, uh, it looks like gold, but it's very heavy and stuff. It turns out it's it's actually silver. It's not that heavy. It's heavy for gold. Um, 
I don't know what this is. She may want to get this checked out. <coughs> uh, what's this? This is just like uh, Aurora Borealis faceted beads. Okay. And here's a couple of crosses. This one's a glass. It looks like probably a Lennoxy or something like that. And then um, this one's silver. This stuff we would never sell. And this is actually a nice sizable cross. <laughs> It says sterling, but it might have been sterling plated because it's got. I got to check that with a magnet. Um, crosses online do well, not that well, but at the flea market they'd give us nothing. This has condition problems. I don't know what it is. It's just some kind of a dangly necklace with leaf design. I don't know if it's a, a designer or whatever. Uh, this looks like silver and crystal. It's a necklace. She knew the designer on this one, this big butterfly. Uh, it says JBK. Uh, I don't know. It's not Joan River. My wife knows who it is, though. It's like an enamel and crystal butterfly. Uh, here's a gold colored. This, I mean, it would be nice if this were gold, but who knows? Uh, necklace. It's, it's not very heavy. Um, here, this is a red crystal and sterling. And the necklace. This box has Liz Claiborne. Oh yeah, this is a uh, Liz Claiborne uh, peacock pin. <coughs> All right, uh, and then this is enamel, uh, cloisonné enamel bangles that uh, that open. Well, this one does. This one does. Uh, and this one doesn't. And then these are coral beads. Nice probably neck. Okay, that's a joy. Oh. At the same sale, there's a lot of decorative stuff, right? <laughs> but nothing I really wanted. Uh, I did buy this. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but uh, this is a cameo shell. Um, uh, usually they're made in Italy, and this one says made in Italy. Sometimes they make these into lamps or things like that. Um, this has some of the nubs polished down. I don't know if they were tripped or whatever. And it's nicely, cleanly done. Uh, I don't know if they still make these today, but these are popular in like the 50s, 60s, 70s. And I, it wasn't expensive. I don't know if it's worth listing online or if, if it's not worth that much online, I'll just put it at a flea market. And that's what cameos are made from anyway, shells. These are just large ones. The ornate ones go for good, uh, big money. This one doesn't. Uh, that, that one's not ornate. ornate. Uh, a wolf original. It's a beaver chomping on a piece of wood. Okay, uh, these are usually, I think they're kind of like a lava, something like that, some kind of stone. And I think at the flea market this would sell for almost nothing, so I, if I want to make any money, I have to put it away. Alright, <coughs> excuse me. And then we got a space heater. Ours died recently. Thirsty. Okay, the last sale I went to. Not this, not this. At the last cell I went to, there was a bunch of toys there, and I was not there early. And whoever bought the toys, but uh, actually Steve, uh, his he was like the toy hunter show, and he works with this other guy. He does like uh, he just did the uh, what do you call it, Comic Con. He was there early and supposedly bought some stuff. I don't even know what that guy's buys. I never see him buy anything in the field, so he must only really want good stuff. Okay, this is something that to me is very confusing. Uh, let me take him into the sun. These are hard plastic. And these are Dragon Ball Z characters. Uh, it's, it's painted. Now, I think it's one of two things. I think, and what's really thrown me is the screws in the back. That to me is very bizarre. They have very little mobility. The arms move, at, not even on some, but or a teeny bit on other. The definition is screwed. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know if it's a big deal. So it's I, in my. If someone asked me straight off what I thought it was, I would say there were some kind of cake toppers. 
Um, there's no manufacturer's make or a mark on them, or possibly uh, it would be great if these were prototypes. Uh, look how look how bad the arms look. I don't know. They're not big enough to be models. So I have friends that know Dragon Ball Z. If you want to give me a heads up on any of this stuff, uh, I'll figure it out myself. Like, see his head is kind of moving around on that one. Uh, but his arms are very rigid. See the seams and the plastic? So it's like really weird. It's like a hard plastic. <coughs> These could be very interesting. I don't, I don't really know. Um, oh, and the back of his hair came off. This kind of broke. It would have to be glued back on. And the tails kind of get pushed in to the butt. Uh, this is a Super Saiyan. But look at the face. It's very like poorly made. So, it's like I said, I don't know if these were meant to be anything other than cake topper. See, like this guy's arm, it moves. But it doesn't move much. And then there's some bigger ones here. And uh, these are obviously... Hold on. Okay, uh, this would have to be Goku in kind of uh, the ape Saiyan form. And it's the same deal. Hard, rigid plastic. Poorly painted. That's why I don't think that... I mean, sometimes stuff like this is models. But this is weird. Like, who... N normally models piece together. This is very unusual to me. See how the feet are made? So, beats me. Like I said, these could be uh, very interesting. Or they could be, like, cheap knockoffs or something. I don't know. And here, here's a... Uh, this would be Vegeta, I guess. See how his face looks? It just looks weird. And he's got the ape <coughs> upper body and tail. Normally the Saiyans don't have tails unless they've, they've changed form. And here is a uh, Gohan. And look at his head. It just spins all the way around. And then it has, it has again, it has the screw inside there. It has a screw holding it together. The arms don't move. So it beats me. But they were interesting enough. They, I paid 22 for all of this. These actually said 15 on the bag. So I technically did not get that much. Tamagotchis. Uh, you know, I know if these were the real deal, they're worth money. But they're, I got some McDonald's Tamagotchis. And they were, like I said, 22 for everything. I think they were like 50 cents a piece. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, number three. Number four, number one, one, three, four, this one's yellow. I'll check these online. Number seven, I didn't get enough to fill all the numbers. Number eight, I don't, I don't have a complete set on these. Number six, so I got a, uh, I'm missing two obviously. One, two, three, four, and I'm missing five. No, one, two, I'm missing two and five for a complete set. Uh, random Pikachu. He looks very bizarre. It's not a normal looking Pikachu. 2007. Pikachu, right? Okay. Um, at this house they were toy collectors. And then I got this stuff. I don't know if this is a big deal, but um, there's Pokemon earrings. And then there's Pokemon. This actually has a set of matching necklace and ring. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. There's a bracelet. Squirtle. Here's a necklace. It's got ash on it. And then it's hooked up to an ash trainer bracelet. And what's this? Nineteen ninety-five, ninety-six. Uh, Jigglypuff, but it's very unusual. It's on a ball necklace, keychain. I mean, uh, what do you call it? A light bulb chain. <clears throat> Here's another set with Meowth earrings, necklace, bracelet. Uh, Jigglypuff. I guess that's Squirtle. 
Meowth. Meowth. <coughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, five. Did I say I was missing five? Three. Seven, four. Oh, this is an almost complete set. Missing five. Okay. <coughs> Let's tape. Uh, Pokemon. I'm going to save this stuff for the convention. Squirtle. And then, uh, then and this would be it. Uh, Charmander. Charmander. A ring. And a necklace. That's it. That's everything I got today. I'm going shopping tomorrow. So hopefully I'll have luck. I'll find some good stuff. No guarantee on that, but we shall see. Uh, Sunday, my plan is, if you want to find me, I will be at Carney, uh, the JC Market Carney, and you can find them by going to jcpromotions.com.